Hello everyone, my name is Akereli Oluwa Shugo, popularly known as Mr. Excel. I'm your Microsoft Excel trainer at LeadLib Data Analytics School. Today I'll be teaching you how to create multi-levels data validation in Excel. How to create multi-levels data validation in Microsoft Excel. What is data validation? Data validation is used to create a restrict or control on what you want people to type in a particular cell or a range of cells in the Excel. Data validation is used to control or restrict what you want people to type in a particular cell or range of cells in Excel. So today I'm going to teach you how to create more than a level in the data validation. We call it multi-levels. So for example, I have this brand of products and under each of the brand, I have their products and under the, for each product, I have the sales person selling each of the products. So I want a scenario that if I pick any brand, for example, if I pick Pepsi Cola, I want the only product I can pick here should be what? product under the Pepsi Cola, like the Pepsi, like the Mirinda 7-Up Aquafina. So if I pick any brand like Coca-Cola, I want the only product I'm able to pick is Coke, Fanta, Sprite and Never water. So the same thing, if I pick a product like a Pepsi, I want the only sales person to appear should be those sales person selling Pepsi alone we call it multi level in the excel so before we start the before we start creating the validation what we need to do is to do what we call name range is to do what we call name range i'm going to name range each of the cells what does name range means name range name range is used to give a name to a table or a cell to make it to be absolute name range used to give a name to a cell or a range of cells or a table to make it to be absolute we call it name range in the excel so it's called name range in microsoft excel so the first thing we have to do now is to select all the product under the Pepsi Cola, we are going to name range it and call it Pepsi Cola. So I'll come to my name box. You can see my name box is showing me H4. So I will delete what I have under the name box and I tap the name Pepsi Cola. Pepsi Cola. So and I press enter. So I've name range this product. I will go to Coca Cola. I will highlight all the product under the Coca Cola. So I'll come here and delete what I have there and call this Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola and I press enter. So for the big cola, I will highlight all the products under the big cola. I'll come to the name range and call it big cola. You should note that when, I, when I'm name ranging, there's no space between the two words. It must be a single word without spacing. So I'll press enter. And you must also press enter for Excel to accept the name range. So I'll come to this one again for each product. So I'm going to name range all the sales person and call their name based on the product they are selling. So I'll select all the sales person under the Pepsi. I'll come here and call the name Pepsi. Pepsi. I press enter. So I'll come here to I like all the six person selling Coke and I'll call their name Coke. I'll name range it as Coke and I press enter. Likewise, Cola. I will let all the six person under the Cola and call the and name range it as Cola and I press enter. So name range make it to be very it make it very, very easier for us to create the multi-level data validation. So let's create for the brand. So I'm going to select all the cells where I want to put the validation for the brand. So I'll go to my data tab. Under the data tab, I'll go to a group called data tools and I click on data validation, data validation. So on the data validation, you should, this is what we call data validation dialog box. You should have settings, input and error alert. So under the setting, you'll see what we call allow. So 
under the setting allow you are going to pick list we are going to pick list so you will now see a box called socks box under the socks box so you are going to select all these products under the socks box all the brand rather pepsi cola coca cola and b cola so you highlight all the brand under the socks and you go to your input message this is where you are going to set up your instruction for the people to do you can see i've done it before so i'll type the name instruction so i'll type it instruction so i'll not type they should pick so here i will type pick or select your brand as the one of the as the instruction pick your brand as my instruction so i click pick your brand so i'll go to the error alerts this way i'm going to set the error alert though i've done it before you can see it's showing there already i can use caution so the error alert is for people that don't want to follow your instruction so you can type the message there follow instruction as the error uh, error message follow instruction so you click on ok so you can see whenever you click under the brand you can only pick these three brands pepsi cola coca cola and b cola so if i enter any other product like i enter guinness let's say i press guinness and i press enter it will not allow me to pick guinness product because it's not part of what i put as my validation criteria so now i'm going to the products so i want a situation that if i pick pepsi cola the only product that I can pick that i can pick is the pepsi cola product so i'll go to the product column i will select all the cells where i want to put the validation for the product i'll go to my data tab under the data tools group and i click on data validation so i'll go to my settings so i'm going to my setting and set under the allow i pick the list so i click on list so under the socks box so under the socks box so for the products so you are going to you are going to select under the source box for the product so this is what you are going to do you are going to use a function called indirect in the excel that function is called indirect so you type your equal symbol you type indirect function indirect so on the function you open the indirect function and you select so you are going to select this a3 so but you are going to only lock the column a so that whenever you pick a product a brand here you'll be able to select the brand the product under each of the brand so you remove the dollar sign for the row three so that it will not leave that column a but the row three can change to a4 a5 a6 a7 downward so you close the bracket for the indirect so you click on your ok so you click on ok don't mind it to show you that you have this source currently available to the error just click on yes ignore it so let's go and test what happened here you can see here now it's not picking any product yet you can't select any product until you come here let's assume that i pick pepsi cola product so pepsi cola brand if i come under the product the only product i can see it will be for the pepsi cola if i come here too i can i pick b cola as a brand the only product i can pick here will be will be coca cola product you can see now if i come here and i pick b cola so the only product i can select here will be big cola product you can see so let me see coca cola here so now we have done for the two we are going to do the third one which is for the sales person for the sales person so i will select all the cell again go to my data tabs data tools group and i click on data validation so under the halal i click on the drop down arrow and i pick list you now see socks box in that inside the socks box you type your equal symbol and you type indirect indirect open the indirect function so you click on this 
on this cell B3 that whenever I pick a particular product here, the name. So what I want to do that whenever I pick a particular product, I can always select the sales person for that product. So in under the indirect, when you pick the big three, so big three, you are going to remove the dollar sign from the row. So we are using mixer reference, which is called column reference. So the column should not move, but the row number can move downward. So I'm going to close the bracket. This is all called column reference. That means the column should be locked where the row number can move to B3, B4, B5, B6 like that in the Excel. So when I click on OK, so when I click on OK, you can see when I come here now, so if I pick for this big cola, cola, the only salesperson I can select are those people selling cola. So when I click, I can pick any product. If I come here and I change it again, like I pick Pepsi Cola, the only product I can select here will be people's we would Pepsi as a product and I can select the salesperson selling. Can you see it has changed to Pepsi? People selling Pepsi. If I pick another brand, like I pick Coca-Cola, you can see the only product I can select for my drop down will be Coca-Cola products. Anyway, so if I pick Coke. So the only salesperson I can select are those people selling Coke, which are Benson, Cassin, and Emmanuel. That's how to create multi-level data validation in the Excel. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Akerele Oluwa Shogo.